In this video, we're going to showcase how to publish your models to Trimble Connect from Tecla Structures. Now, you're going to want to publish your model or export your models and put them on Trimble Connect at each major submittal point um, in detailing. Now, you also may get a request from the fabricator to publish the model more periodically, especially at early phases of detailing and modeling uh, for progress of use so that way they can review the model, see how things are going. So basically coordinate with the fabricator and look at the frequency that uh, it's required. But definitely as a minimum, you should export a copy of the model at each major submittal point, such as ABM, issue for approval, or issue for fabrication. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Trimble Connect tab here at the top of Tecla Structures. Now, usually what the fabricator will do is that they will create their Trimble Connect project. Um, so that way it's underneath their instance of Trimble Connect. And what you can do is once they've invited you to that project as a team member, you can come up here to the four browser option here at the upper left hand corner. And when you press on that, it should prompt you to sign in with your Trimble Connect uh, credentials. I've already done that, so that's why it just comes to the project selection. But basically what this does is it allows me to connect this Tecla Structures model with the appropriate Trimble Connect project in the cloud. Now, if I've already been invited to a project, in this case here, the fabricator's already invited me to this project, I'll select it. You'll see it's got the job number and then the name of the job um, with a dash here separating that. I'll go ahead and select that and press OK. And now that project uh, in Trimble Connect is linked with this Tecla Structures project. Now, once that's been linked, you can go ahead and press the four browser button again. That will open up your web browser and it will open up and log into Trimble Connect and this specific project. Now, what we're gonna do first here is we're gonna export an IFC file. And then I'm gonna show you how to just quickly manually upload that IFC file here into the main project folder. Usually what I do is I name the uh, name of the IFC file to be exactly the same name as the job number and dash the project name or whatever the Trimble Connect project name is that the fabricator has set up. That way it's easy for them to see a match and know what is my model coming from Tecla Structures. All right, so now back here in Tecla Structures, I'll go to the Tecla or File menu, I'll go to Export, and then I'll go to the IFC option. Now there's an IFC 4 option as well. I use the IFC or IFC 2x3 format specifically because it's still the most common uh, version or format that is used across the construction industry. And I oftentimes like to use the IFC export uh, rather than the other export or publishing the Tecla model, which I'm going to show you here in a second. I like to use the IFC format because many other BIM collaboration or BIM viewing software can view and open up IFC files. So really it's dependent on if you have BIM requirements on the project, uh, you may choose to export the IFC file versus publish the model, which I'll show you in a second. But here using IFC 2x3, again, this is a very common version that many BIM software use, so I'll go ahead and use that option here. Now, what I'm gonna do is, you're gonna see here that there's a dot slash for the file name uh, and then an IFC, and this is just basically the dot slash means inside this model folder, it'll create a IFC subfolder. And then again, I make the name of the IFC file to be the job number dash, and then basically the name of the job. And usually that's uh, you know just matching whatever the fabricator has named for their Trimble Connect project. And then that way it's easy to, for them to identify what this export is. Now we're gonna use just a simple IFC file here in the dropdown for option. I can use coordination view. Uh, you know, sometimes you can use surface uh, geometry, but I'll just use coordination view. And as far as the property sets, uh, basically what property sets basically means is what data is actually being published. I usually use Trimble Connect as a default, but if you press the edit button here, you'll actually see this, uh, it'll take a few seconds to load up, but you can control what additional user defined attributes or properties that you want published into the IFC file. So if there are specific statuses and custom attributes and things that you want exported for the shop and the field to see, then you can choose those different properties and add those here. And you can see that these are the core properties that we're seeing over here on the right. All right, so we've got that set. I'm gonna publish all the objects in the model. Again, you as the detailer may choose uh, to only submit certain portions. I usually use all objects because I want the fabricator and the erector to see uh, reference concrete or um, existing steel and things that I'm uh, interfacing my steel with. So I usually export the entire model. And then we'll export by the model origin, which just basically means it'll use uh, the current origin in the model. Um, but you can also change the work plane if you had BIM requirements and needed to export to a specific base or alignment point. 
Now here we wanna make sure that we've got all of the data that we want included in that IFC for reference in Trimble Connect. So I'm gonna have the assemblies, bolts, welds, I'll have the grid turned on. Um, you can choose to use uh, current colors if you have different object representation set other than color by class. Right now I have color by class, which is just using the default Tecla colors here. But you can choose to export the IFC file based on different colorization or object representation setup that you have. Now usually what I do is because I'm gonna keep this same file name um, you know, on each export for each submittal. I'm not gonna really change this or put any date or anything in there. I'm just gonna keep it exactly the same. I'll come up here and I'll type in standard and then I'll save away as standard in the dropdown. So that way I can easily come back and load that or that uh, is loaded by default whenever I open up this Tecla model. All right, so I'll go ahead and press export and then that uh, will export the IFC file. I'll go into my Tecla menu, open the model folder, I'll go to the IFC subfolder, and there we have that IFC file. All right, now I have Trimble Connect Web open on the right, and then I've got my File Explorer on the left. In Trimble Connect for Web, I will press the Add button here and go to Upload Files. Now what I can do is I can either browse or I can just simply take this file in File Explorer here, the IFC, and just drag and drop it onto that dialog box in the web browser, and then it will upload the model. And now the model is available for the fabricator to review. All right, now the second way to upload the Tecla Structures model to Trimble Connect is by going to the Trimble Connect tab page at the top of Tecla. And once the model has been linked with Trimble Connect and that specific project, which we did when we pressed the four browser button, but now we can press the upload model button. When we do this, here it's going to prompt and say, hey, do you want to save the model and upload to Trimble Connect? I will go ahead and do that. So I'll say save and upload. And what this is doing is it's publishing a .tecla file to the Trimble Connect project and it's putting it directly in the main folder. So this is a simple way for you to just basically, um, you know, easily press one button once the project, uh, the Trimble Connect project has been linked to easily publish the model without having to log in or do anything because the model and the pro uh, Trimble Connect project are already linked together. And then that .tecla file will be published. So let's go ahead and go back to Trimble Connect for web and we'll see that new model file up there. Okay, so back here in Trimble Connect for web, we can see that there is the .tecla file and then the .ifc file. Now, one thing I would recommend is to not do both as the detailer. Pick one file format or the other and stick with that throughout the project. You might ask the fabricator which one that they prefer. The IFC file, I tend to export that because that can be used in other BIM collaboration software such as Navisworks and um, other software outside of uh, Trimble Connect or Tecla. So if you have BIM requirements on the project, IFC is a great way to go. The .tecla file um, loads up and is a little bit faster and is better in the Trimble Connect environment, um, but it is a little bit more limited to the Tecla and Trimble Connect ecosystem. But to prevent confusion for the fabricator, don't upload both files because they won't understand why there are two files there and they'll question potentially which one is the one that they're supposed to be using. So I would suggest that you pick one of the two methods that I just showed you for publishing your models. Now you'll notice that the .tecla file, it actually took the same name of the Tecla Structures model name. So here I've got the job number dash and then the name here. And what I, again, usually do is I try to keep things consistent. I try to keep my model names, my Trimble Connect project name, and then my IFC file names consistent. So that way the fabricator can see things all the way through from Tecla structures to Trimble Connect and match like basically exactly the same thing with the file names and the model names and the project name. So that way it's easy for them to understand which files go with which project. Now, a lot of people ask, how do you customize which properties get published in the .tecla file when you use the upload model command? Well, if you go into your environment folder structure here, I'm in uh, version 2022, environments, common, system, and upload to connect, you're gonna see these two files here. If you actually copy these files um, before you modify them, if you do want to change anything in them, copy those and then we can actually put those into our model attributes folder. So I'll copy those and then I'll go up to open model folder, I'll go to attributes, and then I can paste those files here. Now the uh, 
conf.conf or conf.json file, that is basically a configuration file. So if we open that with Notepad here, we can see that there are a few different properties that we can control here. And this is more related to what properties or sorry, what object types are being exported. So there's a true and false for different things here. Um, oftentimes, um, say for instance, like pores might be turned off here, uh, but you can control essentially what it is that you'd like to have exported or not. Now the next file here, this part.epr file, if we open that with Notepad, that is uh, a file here. Again, this also looks like a JSON file, but what matters here is that underneath each of these categories, so let me actually turn word wrap off, and you'll see that for each of these object types, there are a list uh, separated by commas and in quotes here of Tecla template editor report properties for each of those object types. So this shows you which uh, you know report properties for each of those object types that will be published into that .tecla file. So this is a little bit uh, not as uh, you know intuitive with a user interface like you would see in the IFC export, but you do have the ability to control what object types as well as what properties do get exported in the .tecla file. Now, a lot of people get confused on what to do when dealing with revisions or the next submittal on the job and they're exporting a new IFC or .tecla file. Again, you don't need to change the name, so we don't wanna have multiple files here. What you'll do is you'll export or just uh, press the upload model button and it will replace the existing file that's there. However, Trimble Connect is going to keep a record of all of the different versions that have been published for that file with that same name. So you don't have to put dates or different versions and have a collection of those here in the, the Trimble Connect project folder. You just basically will have the same file name published each time you have a new submittal or a new version to upload. The other thing too here is, you know, if a fabricator doesn't have a complex folder structure set up, I usually just keep things very simple and I publish the models directly here at the main master level and I don't create any subfolders or anything. That way it's very easy for uh, the fabricator or rector to quickly get to their models. They don't have to dig through a hierarchy of folders and they can get to exactly what they need. Now, the last thing I'll show you is that you can automatically upload the model using model sharing. So rather than coming up here and pressing the upload model uh, button, what we can do is once the Trimble Connect project is linked to Tecla Structures, if we go into our user INI or if we go into our settings, advanced options here, we'll do a search for connect. So I'll say connect and then I will look in all categories here. And there's a couple of key things here. There's the XS Connect Upload Model Folder. If you leave that to blank, then basically what it'll do is it'll upload the .tecla file directly into the main uh, high-level project folder in Trimble Connect, just like we had seen before. Now, another thing we can do here is there's this X XS Upload Shared Model to Connect. And this has the option of when do you want it to upload? And really the two values here are upon every write out with model sharing or uh, using it at each baseline. I usually, if I do use this functionality, I tend to do this more like at baseline because every single write out means that every single detailer is like, you know, constantly doing that um, like uh, throughout the day. And there's really no need to kind of have that live version of the model up on Tremble Connect. Really what I usually do as the detailer, I pick my lead detailer project manager. I set them because they're invited to the Trimble Connect project. I set them to make the baselines and then uh, periodically once or twice a week, they will publish that baseline uh, for model sharing purposes and for backup uh, reasons and for joining the model. But then that's a good uh, solid point for me as the lead detailer project manager to then publish that model uh, to Trimble Connect for the fabricator and erector to use. If you found this content useful, please subscribe to our channel and press the alerts button to be notified when we upload new content.